Where did the United States get its idea of limited government, and what does that even mean? As citizens, we have not always had rights. The first form of a written constitution is called the Magna Carta, and was written in 1215. The ruling class didn't trust King John of England. The goal was to provide some laws for protection from the king. Two of those laws, found in Clause 39 and 40, led to the legal system such as habeas corpus. Clause 39 states, No free man shall be imprisoned or disposed except by the lawful judgment of his peers or by the law of the land. Clause 40 says no one will deny or delay rights or justice. Let's jump to 400 years later, to 1625. King Charles I tried to enforce a tax on the people of England to pay for a war with Spain. When members of the ruling class refused to pay, they were thrown in jail. Five of the imprisoned men, known as the Five Knights, tried to invoke habeas corpus. King Charles said he is the king and doesn't need legal reason. The members of Parliament created the Petition of Right, and it was reluctantly endorsed by King George and protected the rights of the British people. The English Bill of Rights was signed into law in 1689 and was seen as the inspiration for the United States Bill of Rights. The English Bill of Rights contained a list of King James' bad deeds. The English Bill of Rights had 13 articles that outlined specific freedoms for the English people. It included things like the freedom of speech, the freedom to bear arms for self-defense, and the freedom to petition the king. These ideas are foundations of the American government and the American Constitution. These are just the beginning of individual freedoms that we find in our own American government.